I'm leaving y'all. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg walked off a taping of The View during Tuesday's show. The comedian and her fellow hosts, Sarah Haynes, Joy Behar, Sunny Hostin, and Alyssa Farrah Griffin, were in the middle of debating the viral moment when Miranda Lambert stopped singing her hit Tin Man mid song to scold members of her audience for taking a selfie while she was performing when Whoopi got up and left. Um, people online are split about this. <laughs> I think shame all around, to be honest. I don't like the culture of like you go to concerts to live through your phone and not be present and respect the performer. But I also think it was a little bit over the top of a reaction. Like people paid money for those tickets. They want to be there. They're trying to enjoy themselves. Well, no, they don't want to be there. Them. If they paid money for the tickets, they came to see her. Yeah. So if she's singing, at least a little respect so that knowledge you can see her, she can see you too. Well, the fact that they're right up front, it's I don't like. Little, I think yeah. We, yeah, we have a picture of where they were, I think, because it looks almost like they had like VIP, VIP kind of. seats. Yeah, I mean, like you know, literally she can see what you're doing and she can see that you're ignorant. It's like, it's like being a lounge singer. You know, you go into a bar, somebody's at the piano and nobody's listening. Yeah. You know, that's what it's like or for you her. Give a I'm just saying. Or like you're, you're at a wedding or even like, I remember the White House Correspondence Center. I was right yeah. by you listening. The whole room's talking and it's an intimidating mm -hmm. room and we're like, shh. Yeah, we were shh. Because like <laughs> someone's trying to do their thing and although I know in a big concert you're going to do it, when you're in the front row and they're the starting a ballad. Yeah. I'm, not, and I, I'm not split on this at all. The uh, expensive tickets in the VIP section that they were in uh, are $757. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sure. take as many selfies of, <laughs> as I want if I pay $757. I think I'm sorry. Take, you know just me. You take Stay this. home. Just, no, just if you're going to spend $750,000 to come, $750 to come to my concert, then give me the respect yes. of watching me while I'm doing my thing. Or I mean, don't come. Maybe I want to play it again. Well, it doesn't mean you what can't What does that mean? It. Maybe I want to. I want the, the fit picture and I want the music in the background. But her exit was met with laughs when she beelined for a 91-year-old audience member to take her own selfie. Because I, I want to take a picture with this marvelous woman who is 91. The country singer's abrupt reaction sparked a mix of response online. I'm gonna stop right here for a sec, Danny. I'm sorry. Oh. These girls are worried about the selfie and not listening to the song. It's pissing me off a little bit. I love Miranda Lambert, but this is such a weird thing to do. You're performing at your concert, but you're also fixated on these girls taking their selfie, okay? If they aren't causing a scene or harming anyone, what's the issue? One follower tweeted, while another stated, Sorry folks, but I stand with Miranda Lambert and her right to stop a song and call out the selfie patrol. Tin Man is an emotional song. Miranda kicked off her 2023 Velvet Rodeo residency at Vegas's Planet Hollywood Resort on July 7th. Access Hollywood last chatted with the 39-year-old back in April, and at the time, she was talking about her new cookbook. Tell me about what makes a pretty bitch in kitchen. Well, a pretty bitch in kitchen is made up of a lot of ladies, <laughs> strong women, start there. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think it's a, a lot of elements. It's a lot of uh, life lived, love, laughs, cocktails, definitely cocktails in a pretty bitch in kitchen. <laughs> You gotta have that most yeah. important ingredient, yes. right? Yeah. So you had so many people that you love pour into this book. Were there more recipes than you could actually put into the cookbook? Did you have to leave some out? We did. We put in we put in most of the staples. I mean, I've grown up with these women my whole life, so all of these recipes hold certain memories for me and for all of us. So it was it was a lot of discussions, a lot of happy hours discussing which recipes went in the book. And we needed a good balance between you know, like on trades, and we do a lot of like, everybody bring a dip parties, which yeah. is easy. So we had to get all of the categories, like the entrees and the holidays and the, and the party tray and the cocktails and the desserts. So it was really fun to like hone in on which ones should make the final cut.